Today's Royal Air Force draws its primary combat strength from a projected fleet of 145 Eurofighter Typhoon fighters deployed in seven operational squadrons concentrated in two lightly defended airbases, as well as a testing and training squadron each. Developed by a British, German, and Italian consortium, the Typhoon is an advanced 4.5-generation fighter originally focused on a high-speed and high-altitude air-to-air combat, but which has since integrated short- and long-range precision ground attack capabilities. The Royal Air Force plans to further upgrade its Typhoons with an advanced captor e active electronically scanned array radar which will substantially improve the type's reconnaissance, air-to-air, air-to-ground and self-defense capabilities. But because the Typhoon isn't a stealth aircraft, it can't safely penetrate airspace interdicted by long-range surface-to-air missiles like Russia's S-400 system until those systems are suppressed or destroyed. That lack will be overcome by 48 Lockheed F-35B Lightning II stealth jump jets shared by the Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm and the Royal Air Force, of which 35 have been delivered so far. Though less agile than the Typhoon, the Lightning's low radar cross-section allows it to penetrate hostile airspace in comparative safety, while its powerful networked sensors enable it to locate and destroy air defense batteries and other key targets, or shuffle targeting data to non-stealth platforms a safe distance away to execute a strike. Unfortunately, 48 F-35s may not be enough to perform the anti-air defense mission, particularly when the Royal Navy will want a significant chunk of those jets deployed on its Queen Elizabeth-class carriers to support naval operations. Lastly, the UK is finishing procurement of 16 MQ-9B protector drones which can cost efficiently perform long-endurance surveillance and on-call strike missions in a counter-insurgency context. However, the MQ-9B lacks the stealth or agility to survive in a high battle. In July 2018, the UK launched Team Tempest, a project to develop an optionally manned sixth-generation stealth fighter that could replace the Typhoons as they age out of service in 2040. A mock-up of a sleek twin-tail stealth design was unveiled in July 2018, as well as a presentation highlighting concepts including adaptive cycle turbofans built by Rolls-Royce, revolutionary electrical power generation capabilities, integration of directed energy, that is lasers or microwaves, and hypersonic weapons, artificial intelligence that could assist a pilot or even fly the plane without one, and control of swarms of supporting drones. UK has committed £2 billion, about $2.6 billion, in initial funding to Tempest, and Italy and Sweden have joined in as partners via companies Leonardo and Saab. Involvement of the Netherlands has also been rumoured. In 2020, the British government announced it had recruited seven more companies into the programme, and that the number of persons working on Team Tempest would increase from 1,800 to 2,500 by 2021. Tempest is implicitly a rival to the French-German-led Airbus Assault Future Combat Air System project, which also includes Spain, though there has been tentative suggestions that Future Combat Air System and Tempest could be merged. Tempest is the only way that the UK can retain a national combat aircraft design and manufacturing capability, and is currently the assumed source of a replacement capability for Typhoon by 2040. The Tempest will feature next-generation technology to deal with current and future threats, making it more advanced and formidable than the F-35. Its most defining feature is the ability to fly without a pilot, meaning it can perform sorties and react to dangerous threats without endangering aircrew. The Tempest will be developed by a number of defense companies. According to the Ministry of Defense, Team Tempest is a consortium which will be coordinated by the Royal Air Force Rapid Capability Office. The consortium will also work in close collaboration with the Ministry of Defense. The project will be led by the UK's largest defense contractor, BAE Systems. Rolls-Royce, the world-famous power systems manufacturer will be responsible for creating the propulsion system. MBDA, the European Bridge Company will provide advanced weapons expertise and design the weapon systems, MBDA has confirmed that long-range strike capability will come in the form of the Spear missile system. Spear will also be used on board future F-35s. Leonardo, the Italian high-technology company will provide work on sensors, electronics, and avionics. The sixth-generation fighter will have an advanced arsenal of weapons that wouldn't look out of place in science fiction. 
The specifications are subject to change, but the current concept is a twin-engine stealth fighter jet that can operate with or without a pilot. In terms of armaments, the Tempest will be able to control drone swarms that utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning to harass enemy defenses while enhancing survivability. In addition, the Tempest will likely feature cooperative engagement capability, which is a network-based technology that utilizes netted sensors to increase battlefield awareness and provide the ability to perform coordinated attacks and defensive maneuvers. That's not all, the fighter jet will also feature directed energy weapons that inflicts non-kinetic damage by the emission of highly focused energy systems, such as microwaves and lasers. Last of all, the Tempest will also have an array of hypersonic missiles that have the potential to travel at speeds faster than Mach 5. The Tempest project will be a huge test for the United Kingdom. This marks the first British-built fighter since the 1960s, providing a huge boost for the British defence industry and British defence. The Tempest will not only make the UK one of the first nations with a sixth-generation fighter jet, but also one of the first nations with the ability to field a fleet of unmanned aircraft. The Tempest mock-up suggests a relatively large single-seat, twin-engine Delta wing fighter with a crank trailing edge and two vertical stabilizers, tail fins, canted inwards as on the F-22 stealth fighter. These last improve maneuverability and suggest emphasis on kinematic performance over pure stealth. The larger airframe also implies a desire for greater range and weapons load than an F-35 can muster in stealth mode. In manned version, like the F-35, the Tempest would employ a diverse array of passive and active sensors, and a Tempest pilot may able to gaze through his or her own plane using a helmet-mounted device, which may also replace conventional cockpit display panels. Cooperative engagement technology would also allow a Tempest to fuse sensor data with friendly aircraft, ships or ground forces using reconfigurable communication systems and data links. This could allow one platform to hand off sensor data to another platform, which could then launch missiles without exposing itself. The Tempest is almost certain to incorporate newer technology. Whether the technology is qualitatively or economically better is, at least in part. The British have produced very good fighters in the past and will certainly produce better models in the future.